Hey, I'm Nicole C. Mullen, and I am so thrilled to join with I Am Second for the National Day of Prayer. Now, you might be asking, like, why is she in her car? Well, we have had power outages here in Nashville, Tennessee. We've had storms, and I came home off of a trip to find that I had nothing, no power. And about seven or eight trees are down in my yard, and so I'm running out to buy ice, and, and things are a little uh, disheveled in the midst of even our new normal. And I say this, and I'm telling you this, because even in this, the Lord is proving to be faithful. And I'm sitting here in my car and I have, you know, trying to keep the power on in my home. And as I'm seated in my car, I'm remembering back to a time where I was uh, just experiencing domestic violence. And I remember the night that I said, I'm done, you know, finally I'm done. And I left in my car. And that night I no longer had a home. And so I slept in my car. And, you know, for the next several months, I lived out of my car, you know, sleeping on mattresses and extra beds and in different bedrooms of friends and family. And so I know what it's like to have that. And so I'm looking back and I'm saying, God, I thank you because you brought me from a mighty long way. You know, I may not have power in my home, but now I have a home. You know, uh, my car is a vehicle to take me to and fro. It's no longer where I reside. So I thank the Lord for that. And as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking also about just a song that Kathy Lee Gifford and I, we wrote together and we were blessed enough to be able to go to the Holy Land and to film uh, a, a music film for it. And it speaks of a woman named Hagar, you know, and how she was a single mom and she was on the run and she had her own type of wilderness experience. And then we, we spoke about, we wrote about Ruth and Naomi and how they were widows and they had their own wilderness experience, their desert experience. And then we spoke about David, who was, you know, a king, but he was once the shepherd boy. And even when he became the king, he was, you know, afraid and he was on the run and he was having his own wilderness desert experience. Then we spoke about Mary of Magdala, who was tormented in her mind. She was tormented by evil spirits. And Jesus set her free. And she too was having her own wilderness experience. And we speak of the Christ who had his own wilderness experience. And he became the champion of everyone. And so we began to write and we began to sing. And um, a portion of the song, if you haven't heard it, I encourage you to go and listen to it. If you haven't seen the music film, let me encourage you to go and see that. But a portion of it says, you know, And I will be... A ring of fire around you and I will be the glory in your midst and the power of my presence will bring you to your knees and I will lift you up again for I am the God who sees I'm the God who sees Oh, yeah, he's the God who sees. And our Redeemer, he sees you. And so I want to take a moment and I want to pray for you, okay? And I pray that the Lord would calm your heart and that you would know whatever you're going through, whether it's, you know, your own wilderness experience, your own desert situation, that you would know that God sees you. He loves you. He knows you and he cares and he is here to redeem you. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, Lord. I thank you that we can cast all of our cares upon you because you said that you would care for us. But I thank you also that you said to come unto you if we are weary and if we are heavy laden and you promised, Lord, that you would give us rest. So Lord, I pray for rest, not just on the outside, but rest on the inside for my brothers and my sisters, Lord, who are going through, who are in need of it, Lord. Lord, I pray for those who are in the midst of uh, just great anxieties and great fear, Lord. Um, just do from, you know, whether it's a COVID situation, whether it's power outages, whether it's storms of life, Lord, whatever it might be, Lord, I pray that they would see you as the Savior, as the Redeemer, as the Rescuer. So, Lord, we commit all of our, our affairs to you. We invite you into every single situation. We say you are Lord, you are King, and you are God. And we thank you for seeing us, knowing us, and loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.